Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here and today we're doing a full re-glue on these OVO 10s. Now I received these in a mystery box and the tops were pretty much coming off at this point and I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a super dope video and show you guys the full re-glue process just like the old days. So let's get it and let's go. In order to remove the uppers, I tried a few different methods. The first method was the heat gun method. Didn't really work out too well. The second method was the steamer method. Also didn't work too well. This sneaker is not too old, so the glue is still fairly stuck in some areas. And the best way to remove the uppers is the boiling water method. The boiling water really gets down and dirty and it helps remove the uppers from the midsole. All right, we're getting somewhere. So now we gotta go ahead and prep everything. So we're gonna be using some Agilus leather prep and deglazer as well as some cotton rounds. If you guys wanna purchase that deglazer for the low, I do have a code and the link will be down below in the description for all the Angelus goods you need. We're essentially going to make our rounds and make sure all the excess glue is off of the sneakers so we can ensure that we have a safe and secure bond. Now, if we take a look at the uppers, they do have a bunch of excess glue as well. And in order to remove this, we're gonna have to use a nice little Dremel tool. I think I caught this one at Lowe's or Home Depot, but if you guys are looking for one, I'll try to link it down below in the description. All right, I need everybody to stand back. Surgery is about to commence. I'm gonna need my steady hands. I'm gonna need full focus. So let's go. So after all is said and done, you could probably tell that this part right here has a little bit of white on it. So if I went ahead and glued it like this, the toe caps wouldn't match. And I know that's me just being a little bit picky, but I want them to match the same. So to do this, we're gonna be using a little bit of white. We're also gonna be using a little mixing jar, and we'll also be using barge super stick for this re-glue. Shout out to John Manalo for this tip. I was actually looking through it for a while on YouTube and I finally found it. So shout out to you, John Manalo. Appreciate you, homie. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I think that paint has to be maybe like three or four years old. Like it's dry, bro. To get the full white on the toe cap, we had to hit it four times. Now while the toe cap dries, I'm gonna go ahead and add a layer of glue. We're gonna do three layers of glue on the outsole as well as the midsoles. Let it dry for about 30 to 40 minutes between each layer. All right, at this point, we have three to four coats of the glue on both surfaces on the midsole as well as the uppers. Both of them are completely dry, so they're not really sticking to each other yet, but I'm basically going ahead and lining everything up before I heat everything just to make sure everything is centered and fits properly. Once you heat this up, the glue will immediately attach, which is what I love about this method. It's not like the old school method where we had to hold it and clamp it very long. Heat it up, stick, it's good. Thank you. 
I wanna give a quick shout out to my homie Sal the Sneakerhead for this tip right here. I went ahead and started off at the heel and then I started doing the toe. The sides come later. So that's how you ensure that you get real nice fitment and you don't end up stretching the sneaker a certain way, all right? So heel first, toe, and then sides. By the way, we're almost at 600,000 subscribers, so if you guys enjoy these videos, don't forget to show your boy some love and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into the results. Yo, so overall this entire re-glue, if I had to go ahead and rate this, I think I would rate myself maybe at like an 8 out of 10. This is one of my better full midsole re-glues that I've done because I haven't really done too many of them, but there's always room for improvement. So as you guys can probably tell, there's a glue line right here that I feel like I could have pushed this midsole up more or this upper down to hide that existing glue line. I was using this as a guide for the entire midsole. So there's some areas where it pops up and that was really bothering me. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. So when I finished these, I was like, bro, is this a fail video? Like, should I even post it? And then I went ahead and I looked at the factory sneaker that hasn't been touched yet and it has existing glue lines. It actually has crazy existing glue lines, which made me feel a little bit better. So. If you look at the factory glue line right here, you can see, boom, look at that. Huge glue line, huge glue line. And it basically goes on throughout the entire upper of the shoe. So at first I thought it was me, but then after looking at this, it's like, it's just the way that the factory's made it. Like you see the full glue line. Nothing is gonna be perfect, but there's always room for improvement. So that's one thing I think I could definitely work on is just kind of you know, figuring that out. I could probably could have dremeled the midsole a little bit, make this thing sit a little bit lower. Yeah, man, I really enjoyed how this one came out. This is the first time I actually tried this technique on an entire midsole. I've done this on little pieces, but I swear back then, man, we used to use the shoelaces to clamp the entire shoe and leave it for hours when the glue was still wet. So this new method, it really works. I love how everything came out. You could do like a stress test on them. Everything is just like crazy solid, so. This is not going anywhere. Before we take off, I just wanted to tap in with you guys and ask y'all if you enjoy these kind of videos. If you guys do, please comment something down below. That would really inspire me and motivate me to do more of these videos. And if not, it's cool, we could do something else. But doing a restoration like this, or somewhat of a tutorial video, really brings me back to my roots when I first started this channel because that's how we came up, man. Tutorial videos, restorations, all that good stuff. So if you guys enjoy this, again, let me know because I get some sort of satisfaction from taking something that can't really be worn and bringing it back to life. I basically resurrected these things right here. Now it's getting a little toasty in here, so I'm gonna let y'all go. But if you guys would like to support the channel any further, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because we're almost at 600,000 subscribers, which is insane. So thank y'all so much. If you guys would like to check out my website, shopsotopia.com is filled with sneakers as well as custom accessories that I make myself. And everything you guys purchase on the site helps this channel grow and supports me even further, all right? So thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see y'all for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Shoo.